Ever since I made my initial video about getting an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, I have received a decent amount of DMs just from you guys asking about my opinions and my experience on getting refurbished products from Apple, so I figured I would just make an update video letting you guys know how I feel about it, if I've had any issues with it, any problems with it, how it's worked for me so far, so that is what this is, just because I feel like if some people have DM'd me and asked me about it, I'm sure a lot of people also have questions, especially when it comes to buying a refurbished, already owned product. So I would definitely like to get into that and kind of explain how I feel, my experiences, etc. So back in February, I decided to go ahead and purchase a refurbished iPad Pro and Apple Pencil directly from Apple. The reason I decided to go ahead and do this was because my two options were either purchasing a refurbished second generation iPad or a brand new third generation iPad because the third generation had very recently released and so that's pretty much all that was out there. So it would have been like a two to three hundred dollar difference for the second generation refurbished versus the third generation brand new. So between buying the Apple Pencil, the case, the screen protector, and any other accessories I wanted to purchase at the time, it was a lot of money that I was going to be spending, so I decided to go ahead and purchase a refurbished iPad and refurbished Apple Pencil directly from Apple. So. The reason why I decided to actually go ahead and purchase these directly from Apple was very, very simple for me, and that was because Apple was very direct about letting you know that with their refurbished products, they replaced the battery. And as soon as I read that, that really sold it for me because when you're getting a refurbished product, especially when it's something like a cell phone or a tablet, something you really want is for it to have a new battery, and a lot of third-party sellers like Amazon, eBay, other places that do offer refurbished iPads don't explicitly say that they're replacing the battery. And that's something that really influences the experience and just like the overall lifespan of any kind of electronic like this. So as soon as I read that, I was like, that's actually a really good deal at that point because the battery is something that's really, really important. So I decided to go ahead and spend the 679 US dollars for my 12.9 inch 64 gigabyte iPad Pro. Right now, actually this exact model in the refurbished section of the Apple store online is a lot cheaper. It's like 580, I think right now. I don't know if that's a special promotion or if it just got bumped down to that price, but it is like $100 cheaper than what it was when I purchased it about six months ago. So if you're looking to get an iPad Pro, I would definitely just peek over and check that section just to like see your options because that's a really good price. I know the third generation ones are newer, so they've improved them, I guess. I mean, the only really important thing about the third generation one that really stood out to me was that the Apple Pencil charges by being magnetically attached to the side of the iPad versus like USB plugged into the iPad. But anyways, I don't really care about the third generation. I have a second generation. Moving on, I also ended up spending $85 on the Apple Pencil. My Apple Pencil is also refurbished versus I think it would have been like $100 for a brand new one. So it was saving me some money and I was already purchasing the refurbished iPad Pro. So I was like, just gonna get the refurbished Apple Pencil. I don't remember if it was 100 or 120 for a brand new one, but I ended up getting the refurbished one because I was already there. So I wanna very clearly say this because like, if someone had given this to me and the box that they came in did not say refurbished, I never would have known, even up to this point, I never would have had any idea that these products were pre-owned and refurbished products. I haven't had a single issue with the battery life of either because they're brand new batteries. There weren't any at all physical imperfections on either the iPad Pro or the Pencil. They came in boxes and like packaged as if they were brand new. The only difference is that the boxes they came in explicitly said refurbished on the front of them, but like the pen came with extra nibs, extra parts that the normal ones come in with and they're brand new. The iPad Pro came with all the charging cables, everything you need, everything that it would have if it was brand new, manuals, etc. There were no physical imperfections. There were no technological imperfections that I've noticed up to this point. The only like, issue, if you want to call it that, that I've had with either of these products is that I've had 
uh, Procreate, which is the drawing app I'm using and the drawing app I use, it has crashed once. But aside from that, that's the only problem I've had the entire time I've used this iPad. I definitely don't use it every single day. And I actually watch Hulu and Netflix on it a lot more than I draw on it, which was my intention. I bought it to draw on, but I use my iPad a lot and that's the only issue I've ever had with it. I never would have noticed or known that this was a refurbished product had I not like known that when purchasing it and had it not said so on the front of the boxes. So I would highly recommend if you're interested in buying an iPad Pro, just checking out the refurbished section of Apple's website. I wouldn't recommend purchasing a refurbished anything from a third party seller just because I've read a lot of bad reviews like when I was looking for an iPad I read a lot of bad reviews on Amazon about refurbished iPads so that really scared me away from there. I didn't even know that Apple did refurbished iPads until like a couple weeks or so, a couple months before purchasing my own so I will leave direct links down below to the exact products I personally purchased. By no means do you have to get those ones, but that is just a tidbit of how I feel about my iPad. I love it a lot. If anything happened to it, I would definitely be purchasing a refurbished one again. It doesn't look like they have any third generation refurbished ones currently. I don't know if they're going to anytime soon or what. I, I don't really know. I just know they have the second generations refurbished up, but I love my iPad. I'm very grateful that I ended up going ahead and getting a refurbished one because it did save me a lot of money. So those are my opinions. Those are my thoughts on getting a refurbished Apple product, even though I don't even really like Apple. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next one.